Hi, this is Maggie. Today I'm looking at a symmetry chart between Colin Jost just became engaged to Scarlett Johansson. So I brought up both their charts and I'm seeing where their planets connect. Um, they certainly connect in Scorpio, second house, house joint assets. Yeah, her, she has a lot in Scorpio. She, Scarlett will be on the outside wheel in red to go with her name. Scarlet Red. <laughs> um, yeah, Pluto. So Pluto, the ruler of Scorpio. Um, and she has Saturn, Moon, and the Sun, and her ascendant all kind well, she has Pluto, Saturn, and Moon in Scorpio. And he has Jupiter and the moon is kind of on the cusp. Actually, his moon is in Libra. But her Pluto, her Pluto and moon connect. Her Pluto and his Jupiter connect in Scorpio. So that just enlarges their, their attraction. For one thing, Pluto's the ruler of Scorpio. Um, Jupiter would enlarge their, their passion for each other. And they're joint assets as well. They're both doing very well financially. So if they merge those together, yeah, they're very both powerful in their industries. Um, yeah, so the, the first connection I see is there's a very strong Scorpio connection. That's passion. That is passion. Um, she has Saturn, Moon, and Sun. Her son is zero degrees Sagittarius, so um, yeah, and she is engaged to a writer, and the opposition is to everything. He has his whole stellium in Gemini, and they're both mutable signs, so she finds that very exciting and attractive. Um, yeah, so her her Uranus likes all his Gemini, so she has Uranus and. Neptune in the third house of Gemini. So that's communication. And it looks like she's just fascinated with his, with his mental wit, you know, his, his mental abilities and skill and writing abilities. And um, yeah, Uranus is just very quick witted. Yeah, so that they both have Uranus in the third house. And her Mercury as, is in Sagittarius as well, in the third house. So, um, yeah, she has done a lot of traveling. I believe she was born um, Danish. She was a twin. <laughs> so, yeah, and so she made it here in the U.S. So where else do they connect? Oh, the fourth house. They want to make a home together. They want to solidify her planets are all in his fourth house of Capricorn. So he, he loves her Venus. He loves her Venus. You know, the planet of attraction, beauty, benefic, great benefic. And he loves her Jupiter as well. And she's got Venus and Jupiter and Capricorn in his fourth house, making a beautiful home. And also Neptune, 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 <laughs> that's, they're both, you know, in the industry, and they're both, you know, actors and actresses, so they, you know, they merge their Neptunes together, of course, they're generational, but at the same time, it would be a very happy home, you know, with Venus and Jupiter, and he's, yeah, I see their fourth house is a very happy home, you know, because Venus and Jupiter in your fourth house of Capricorn and their work lives too would mesh because they're both creatives, you know, both their Neptunes are creatives. So they're going to have a very creative household and creativity in their work. And, but yeah, their fourth house looks really good in their marriage together. I think, you know, especially with her, <laughs> with her Jupiter and, and the planet of love, Venus, and Neptune in his fourth house of the home. I think they'll be very happy and could have a very beautiful family together. Um, her north node is on his Chiron in Gemini. So she 
would get him on a very deep level. They would get each other. You know, she would get his sort of like inner wounding or just feel a connection to him, very, a very strong connection to him. And his, his Chiron, that was his, her North Node, her Chiron is on his Venus. So she connects to him on a very, um, very sens sensitive, loving, you know, when, when you're engaged or you get married or you're, you're in love, you, you know, they've been dating a couple of years. You come to know each other inside and out, especially after the two year mark. That's when it gets real. And so, you know, each other's inner wounding and, um, yes, yeah, so she, she really gets that. And he gets her, you know, with the Venus Chiron connection, it's her Chiron on his Venus. So he, he just loves her, you know. We all have Chiron somewhere. Yeah, it's in their ninth house. Um, but their, their fourth house looks excellent. Their second house, Scorpio, looks excellent. Um, MC, her, her midheaven is in his Virgo. It's on his Virgo ascendant in the twelfth house. And they're both in the industry, you know, in the Neptune ruled Pisces house. They have Virgo there, so you know, I'm sure they probably met through work. Um, yeah, so yeah, she finds his. I already talked about her Uranus. Yeah, she finds that very exciting. His Uranus is sitting on her sun and ascendant, so that's that's kind of, you know in Gemini in the Gemini's house so yeah she finds that very exciting and it's opposed to all his planets in Gemini so she kind of <laughs> she just finds him intriguing and witty and you know everyone does I mean he's such a great great writer for S SNL and everything else he does um, and again their passion in Scorpio and the joint resources looks really really good for them so I see the attraction, her Pluto, Pluto and Scorpio loves his moon and Jupiter. You know, I keep saying his moon, it almost looks like it's in Scorpio, but it's in Libra. But um, yeah, it, it just looks, I think it looks really good for these two. And yeah, I'm happy they're engaged and I wish them all the best. If you like this, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.